Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a polymer clay layering, jewelry layering. And this is my background so I've already cut out like what I'm going to put on my backgrounds. And I was debating on whether to do a little press on, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do these hearts. I'm gonna layer it with this smaller heart. I've got it turned the wrong way. I'm gonna do this heart, layer it with the smaller one, and I'm gonna do this flower and layer it with the smaller one. So, this blue is what I'm doing the, I need a little bit of water. Let me get a little bit of water. All right, so I have these, uh, these double-sided presses that I've chosen a couple of these to use. And I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here because it keeps them from sticking so bad. Let's do a little bit of Okay, so we're gonna do this blue first. So we're gonna put it in the press. I'm gonna move these out of the way so I can lay this here. And then I'm gonna use my roller and kind of roll this in there so I can get my impressions on there. And because I'm using such a small cutter for this one. It may not even show up very well. Okay, so it's got the heart impressions on it. And then we're going to take our smaller cutter and maybe I'll put it right where there's a heart this is so small ah. Let's smooth up my edges a little bit. Okay, so this one we're going to layer right on top of the darker one. And you got to get it right center pretty good. And I'm just going to smooth a little more. Put this onto the tile to get ready to um, bake. I may come back and do some more with that one. I like that. I'm going to move that out of the way. Clean this up. going to do the um, the other heart and I thought on that one 
I think what I'm going to do is All right, we're going to put a little bit of the purple. It's called peach purple gold leafing on top of the clay where I'm going to actually cut air under that. Okay. And then this one is my heart. And let me get this one we're going to cut. Gonna go around our edges and kind of clean this up. It's kind of a little bit difficult because these are such little tiny pieces, but you just have to be patient. And I'm trying not to put my fingerprints on them. Okay. So I'm gonna move this up here so I don't have to move it twice. Get my black heart up here. Go around my edges on this one again. This one's gonna go here. And then we're gonna get this centered. Perfectly. All right, those are looking pretty good. All right, so for the last one, I have this flower. All right. So this one is going to be the green. And I'm just going to do some butterflies on this one. We'll see how this one does. Because these are so small, I'm not for sure how these are going to even show up. I had to just have to pick a specific area. All right. And same thing here. We're going to put it down and roll it a little bit. Let me move this out of the way. And let me roll this one here. All right. So that won't be it. Here. All right, and let me cut a little flower, turn it this way, I'll get one of those butterflies in it, in the center, which I don't think is going to show up very much, which is fun. All right. this here for a minute and see if I can clean it up a little bit. Alright. So let me 
center this one. Okay, so we're gonna we're going to bake these. Move them up a little closer so you can see them. We're gonna bake these on 275 for about 30 minutes, maybe maybe 45 minutes since I have them layered like this. And they will come out of the oven, and then we will move on to the next step. Okay, so they came out of the. Uh, oven they're looking pretty good and I use a um, it's a little nail uh, electric nail thing I bought for nails and I use it to clean up my polymer clay so that's what I'm gonna do next is kind of go around and clean up my edges and uh, then we're gonna I'm gonna decide whether I want to finish this off with a little bit of uh, Sculpey glaze or if I'm going to use a little bit of resin. I'm almost out of my uh, my resin, uh, UV resin, so I may end up using my uh, Sculpey. So I'm going to clean these up and I'll be back and we will finish them off. Okay, so they're out of the oven. And I did decide that I was going to do the um, resin. I'm going to use this uh, Solazar resin. It is a doming resin, but it still leaves a really nice finish. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to resin the, bell, the bells on the backs so it secures them really well. So these are the bells I'm going to use. The carriers what you want to call them. Okay, so we're going to do the the edges first and then we'll come back and do the tops. So, let me get what brush I'm going to use. So I want a really small one for this because they got some small, small sides. Okay, I think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put my, uh, my resin in here.
All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of heat to these just to make sure I don't have any air bubbles. And then they'll go underneath the heat lamp and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the, the resin on the tops. They look on the top of all three of them. Looks really good. So now we're gonna put the carriers of the bells on the back and resin on the back. So, and turn them over. And decide the spot where we're gonna put them. little dollop right there and I'm gonna have to hold it in place and I'm gonna put it under the lamp pretty quickly so it'll dry same thing with this one And then I, once I get them secured, then I'll come back and cover the whole back with, uh, with resin. And then this one. All right, so now we're gonna put the resin all over the back of this one. Uh, I'm gonna resin all three of the backs and I will be right back to show the finished product. Okay guys, here is the finished product. I think they turned out really cute. You can see on the back how I put the the carriers and I secured those with resin so those are secured on the back and then you can see the the layering on the front my stamping did not show up very well I don't know if you can see it from an angle but but still they turned out really really cute so if you did enjoy this video, if you could give me a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me continue to get out there in YouTube world and helps my channel grow. And I do appreciate that very much. I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you hit that little red bell, it will notify you whenever the next video is coming up. So thank you for watching.